Hey everyone, Jonas here with a quick review about the Split Dome for GoPros by the company Split. It is made for the GoPro Hero 5 and Hero 6 Black Edition and uh, it comes in at about 130 bucks. This means it's kind of a mid-range product somewhere between the K-Necked domes which are like these original USA made uh, expensive GoPro domes and some cheaper ones that you can find on Amazon. Let's get into the pros about this dome. First of all, its shape is semi-hemispherical, which really should be a no-brainer when talking about domes. But watch out for some of the cheaper domes on the market, because there are some that come along in funny shapes. The diameter of the dome is about 6 inches, which is exactly what you'll want, because that seems to be the standard in those GoPro domes. And it's great because you can pack it anywhere, it's not too bulky. The accessibility of the buttons is okay. Great about it is that you can still turn it on and off and you can switch between the modes so you can either film or switch to photos or go into burst mode, whatever you want. The backplate of the dome is black material, black matte material, which means it won't reflect the light as much as other materials and therefore you won't have reflections in your images. When we look at the cons of this dome, there's really two things that separate it from the high-end products. First of all, you can't use the touchscreen on the back of the camera because it's mounted in this separate housing which enables you to use the touchscreen. This means two things basically. First of all, you can't change your settings. You can change the modes with the button, but you can't change the settings. You can't change your ISO or your frame rate or so on. The other thing is that you can't review your pictures. You have to open the dome each time to make sure that your pictures are good. And if they're not, you have to put it back in, take another shot. There is a way to solve this problem by using the GoPro app. I've tried that before and somehow I've always had problems with the Wi-Fi of the GoPro and my cell phone. The other thing is that there is no water line. This is just a self-made gaffer tape solution. This is a thing you're really dependent on because if you want to take a shot quickly and you want to make sure you're half on the water, half over the water, you really need this. And it's a shame they didn't put it on because it's really easy to do for them as well. All in all, I'd say it's a great product for the price. If you want to try out something like that, it's perfect. It seems pretty sturdy, it does the job. You have a couple of problems with it that I've mentioned before, but there's workarounds. And for me, also another point is that if you want to go for a more expensive dome, you might as well go for a, a dome for your DSLR. Because at the end of the day, it's GoPro quality and not more, not less. I hope you liked this review. Thanks for watching.